Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm Taylor Muller with the Garden State Film Festival, and I am very excited for tonight's interview. Uh, tonight, I will be talking about the film uh, The Thing, and I am with the director, producer, and screenwriter, Arad Naviz. How are you? Yes. Fine, thanks. Yourself? <laughs> I'm well, thank you. <laughs> so I'm happy to be here, uh, notably the acceptance of my film at the Garden State Film Festival made me really overjoyed, especially these days in Iran that the country has been anti-regime and revolutionary protests. I'm grateful to you and all the GSF 15 members. Oh, well, thank you so much. We are so excited um, on your acceptance in the film festival and look forward to screening it in person. Um, so, you know, before we get into the interview, I mean, it'd be great if you could tell me a little bit about yourself and maybe a bit of background on the film. Yes, sure. But uh, before anything, I would like to talk about something more vital to us Iranians than anything else at this point, with your permission, which is the Iranian ongoing social movement. Uh, that's the murdering, you know, uh, that the murdering of Mahsa Jina, I mean, a 20, 20 year old. Iranian woman by the Islamic Republic's morality police forces was the main cause of it. Uh, actually, Mahsa's murder was merely the origin of a revolutionary movement which had been founded a few years ago and all they needed a basic uh, a stimulus, which was a killing of her. Iranian people in Iran and also in other countries are trying in the line of advancing the mentioned anti-regime movement through various actions such as demonstrations, civil disobedience, including uh, defiance of mandatory hijab laws, strikes, and in addition, holding demonstration and parleying sessions, doing all this action inside Iran, despite the brutal repression of the people by the regime, will continue until the day of accomplishing our goal. We believe in our goal, and we will continue until the day victory, which is near. And also, you can see a sign of the movement attached to my shirt, Woman Life Freedom. Sounds in the Geosadik. Yes, we can continue with the in the line of the film. Thank you. Well, I appreciate sorry. that. That's all right. You're welcome. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, it's um, it's a, a smallest work that I can do for this movement. Sorry okay. for the time. And we can uh, continue with the <laughs> concentration on the film. Yes. Of course. So I'm here. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> um, okay, so just um, any bit of back, uh, background about you as a filmmaker yes, and any information sure. that you can provide um, on the film itself. Yes. So let's go. I am Arat Navizi, a 19-year-old Iranian filmmaker. I started filmmaking when I was 16 with my first film, Suspense, an original title, Talib. Uh, next, I make uh, I made two uh, another short films, Khaleq, and it's the latest the thing, which uh, has been produced 2022. Uh, before talking about the thing, I want to talk about cinema and let's uh, start about talking about the thing, uh, creating a different world and uh, its members forming arbitrary and unrestricted situations and disrupting uh, the customer rules of the world with the aim of presenting the personal worldview and intended concept at the same time as generating the planned, uh, how can I say, pervading atmosphere are features that make cinema special for me. The excessive, and I continue with the thing, the excessive influence of the big names on the viewpoint of many people, which is many cases leads to ignoring their personal uh, opinion and after that the reduction in the response of cinema audiences under the effects of the mainstream pure industrial and profitable cinema are the issues that have become a concern for me and had a vast role in the purpose of making this film the thing or original title Shay in Persian and its structure so uh, in making this film, which was made uh, with a chiefly young cast and crew uh, completely independently, I tried to create and specify its own world and the characters who are subjected to it using some uh, mise-en-scene 
dialect, sound, and musical, I mean, the film score, provisions, the people of the thing are living in a world that seems normal, uh, but considering the false impression, mm. and on the other hand, big names, effects that's involved them, they have been infected by a, how can I say, by a kind of uh, hidden uh, alienation and absurdism. Absurdism and uh, fantasy were two influential elements in creating the mission atmosphere that I have mentioned. I was inspired by films uh, of Jim Jarmusch, especially Coffee and Cigarettes, and Wes Anderson's films. In addition, the um, play uh, Bald Soprano, I think, written by Eugene uh, Inesco or UNESCO in French, and The Cripple of Inishman, a play by Martin McDonough, had an influence on me in writing and making the thing, uh, which is obvious in both dialogue writing and directing. I saw a kind of uh, mise en scene with some traces of. Uh, touch recall one as a complementary element besides the other components for creating the considered atmosphere. From this view, I paid heed to paintings and also framing in both uh, mise-en-scene and composition, which is one of the reasons for choosing a mise-en-scene oriented formation. It's better to say, yes, mise-en-scene oriented uh, formation for the film. Mm -hmm. In this direction, I made an effort to take advantages uh, of cinematic facilities, of cine lenses and uh, aspect ratio, which you can see a difference between aspect ratio in different sequences of the film. Uh, and as I mentioned about the uh, musical capabilities and musical mm -hmm. uh, actions, uh, the film score, which is a piece of original antimeter uh, music that is based on uh, improvisation, has a striking role in introducing the personal world and atmosphere of the film. Generally, I focused on the sound and music of the film and their possible capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, working with the actors and actresses, that's, uh, I have to mention that some of them are rookies uh, trying to adapt them to the film's world and atmosphere and taking a creative experimental approach in all the stages of all the stages of the film from the development stage to the post-production stage make the film a challenging being, uh, somehow enthralling experience for me although i have to mention this too although the film is mentioned as a student film uh, it uh, has been made independently and it's mentioned as a student film mm -hmm. uh, that's in the category of the GFF is in a student. The only item given to me actually by my university, Tehran University of Art, that is after qualified university, is the title of student and nothing. Then. I mean, the university did nothing but operate me in other words, the mention movement in the starting of the interview, many, including myself, are temporarily and permanently banned from education just for protesting, which is an obvious right. Yes. Well, that is very interesting. Yes. And thank you so much for providing the background on that. Um, you mentioned that you're, um, you're in the category of you know, university student films, and you talked a bit about your casting yes. crew. Where did you yes. where did you find your cast and crew? Are they other students that you interact with, or mm. where did you how did you garner your group? Mm. Yes, sure. Uh, I can uh, start uh, with the uh, stages of the film, or mm. with the key uh, key points of the film, which is important for the thing. It's your okay. selection. How do you prefer I start? <laughs> Either or you can um, <laughs> you can go with the first one. The first is fine. Oh, challenging of the film, yes? Yes. Sure, sure. Uh, to start talking about the challenges of making this film the thing, I can start from the basing and define the stages of making a film and continue go on. In the beginning and in the development stage, the screenplay underwent many changes. And I remember that sometimes uh, I hesitated from making this film Mm -hmm. And uh, which, with my current vision, I see not reaching a 
suitable structure uh, for uh, structure and form for portraying the screenplay and maybe uh, entering the university because in my opinion a concern about making an experiencing under the effects of increasing academic literacy is a common feature about freshmen uh, which is really important to overcome i see this uh, as the reasons uh, after reaching the desired way of uh, portraying the screenplay, imaging the screenplay, I entered the level of choosing the cast members, one of the levels of the pre-production stage, which was very important for me mm -hmm. uh, due to the due to my last experiences, suspense and the creator or Khaled. Uh, it was very important for me uh, and uh, during holding several auditions, even for my friends who I had worked with before, the mm -hmm. cast was chosen, and along the way of making the film, uh, there were changes in the cast group. Uh, and But the main issue regarding the cast of the film was training session. Considering the structure of the film and the fact that most of the members of the film's cast were theater actors, mm -hmm. and the way uh, they played their roles in front of the camera, according to the profession, had inordinate exaggeration the approach of the training sessions was based on the cast rival at a suitable form for the film and atmosphere of the film. Notably, as I mentioned, uh, some of the members of the cast are rookies, mm -hmm. and this film was their first or second experience. Uh, parallel uh, to the training sessions, I was searching for the right shooting location. Yes. But either I couldn't find the location uh, I wanted or the art gallery that I had chosen wasn't willing to cooperate. Mm -hmm. I remember that to find the location I uh, wanted, I had listed almost uh, all the galleries that were being held in Tehran, capital of Iran. And mm -hmm. I went and visited them. And also I was attentive to the behavior of the visitors of the galleries which helped me so much to improve mm -hmm. the screenplay, especially in the section of dialogue writing uh, as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, near the day of the shooting, oh, <laughs> the coronavirus uh, disease uh, became an obstacle for me. Okay. First, one of the casters of the film got infected uh, with the virus, and this outbreak uh, gradually reached me as well, which for the temporary cancellation of the training session component of the production stage. On the day of shooting, almost everything was well, and the only thing that was uh, more challenging than anything for me was the time and budget construction uh, okay. and limitation. On the other hand, it was not possible to shoot for more than a day in that art gallery, and even if there was, I would not be able to cover the cost of the crew and equipment. After shooting the post-production stage of the film uh, took nearly six months due to my excessive operation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, especially <laughs> about the sound of the film. Uh, my yeah. sound editor uh, was angry about me because of my <laughs> excessive operation, yes. Yes, yeah, it seemed, um, you know, those things could take a while. And I was gonna ask you a bit about shooting during COVID and if there were any precautions um, and, you know, difficulties with that. So thank you for touching a bit on that. Um, so I know that we're nearing, you know, the end of our interview, but I wanted to just talk a little bit about, you know, our upcoming festival and to see what drove you ultimately to submitting your film, um, you know, to the Garden State Film Festival and just how does it feel to be accepted? And will you be joining us in March? Yes. Uh... As I mentioned in the beginning of the interview, uh, I'm very happy and even overjoyed because of my acceptance as FF. And uh, I can explain in this way that in a uh, dark world in, uh, in that point of my life, GSFF acceptance was a really good news for me and I'm very happy that joined the GSFF team by my film and uh, hoping for the next films, next attending, and uh, even in-person attendance in the festival. 
Well, we are so excited that your film will be showcased yes. um, at thank our you. festival. And thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me tonight on your film. You're welcome. Um, just You're a welcome. bit about it before we cut off. Um, Shay and the Thing will be premiering in Asbury Park during the festival, which is taking place March 23rd through 26th in Asbury Park. Um, your film premieres on Saturday, March 25th um, from 12.15 to 2.30 in Film Block AL3. So for guests and attendees that are there, please tune in. And Arad, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Uh, for me too, it's my pleasure too. I am so thankful for everything, hoping for the next meeting, for the next film. But yes. free run. We hope so. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Thank you Take care. Much. Goodbye. You too. <laughs> Bye. Good morning for me and good night for you. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> yes.